Alrighty, today's the day. We're going to put Cummins in the jet -way. So it'll have to come back out, but today we are putting it in for mock up purposes. See where we're at, how everything's going to look as far as oil pan clearances and drive line. Just give us a general idea if we need to add or take anything from the engine plates for when we make them out of aluminum. So, but today it's just for mock up, but by the end of this video, by the end of the night, we plan on having the Cummins in the boat. So I'll give you a little run rundown on the boat here and a little rundown of what we have to do and then we're going to get at it. So what we have here is Micah's jet boat. What year is it? 78. 78 Sanger. He just spent what well, was supposed to be a weekend turned into a month making the floor in here perfect. Added some braces up in there and then had the whole entire floor what's the process called splatter, splatter. Yeah. splatter. so it, it is a gel coat water runs right off of it it's not paint so but if you look up in here he made the floor absolutely perfect so what we have to do now is these are the original uh plates we use to hold the big block in they were bolted to the side and plate bolted here, same thing on the other side. What we're gonna do is cut these off, and flip it over, and have this side bolted to the stringer, and this side down here is where, it's kinda like a rail kit, just upside down, that the, that the plates will rest in. So I'm gonna get to cutting these off, get them bolted in. Mike is gonna come in here and notch these so that they sit cleanly, and once we have that done, then we can start seeing what we need to do to put that in here. So let me get that knocked out for y'all. All right, rails are bolted in. Got one up there on both sides and one back here, both sides. So we're able to get a measurement from here to there, 24 and 7 eighths. So now we take that and we have the layout fluid on the front of here. And when we did the math, we need to take off on this front motor plate. Got to take an inch and five sixteenths off, but no, nine sixteenths off both sides. And the rear motor plate, we need to take off 15 sixteenths on both sides. And that'll get it down to the 24 and seven eighths with both sides still being even and the crank being centered. So layout fluid on there. We'll get the uh, precision scribe. Or calipers, you know, whichever way you want to look at it. Uh, get it marked up, get them cut off, and I'll be one step closer to having it in the boat. All right, it's free from the stand. Now it's time to take it, stab it in her home. <laughs> this is exciting. What you think, Micah? We got a long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's in there. But. And it is awesome. It's fucking history. This is history right here. Yep. Ain't nobody else put a 24 valve in a jet boat. Man, she looks right at home, too. Hey. We but, so, what we need to do back here is clearly the crank is sitting on about three or four inches from the center line of the jet. Gotta lower that down. But as far as the angle goes, the angle looks pretty close to match the jet drive, but we'll get all that perfect once we get the PTO. And we definitely have to slide it forward some for the drive shaft and PTO. But it's in there. We have a good idea of what we need to do. 
clearly we need to lower it but it's in there huge step huge awesome this is just awesome this is awesome history. yes history so we're gonna wrap this one up here we're gonna sit here and kind of debate on stuff we need to do to go forward so but this uh is, this is this is mock-up 101 mock-up 101 just to see where we're at still got to set the drive line still got to set the ride height this thing is going to be moving forward i'm going to say minimum 12 to 16 inches minimum i'd so agree that's the only way the boat will even plane to get on plane or not porpoise or any of that stuff like that so uh anyways we got a long way to go we just want to see where it was at with the plates because this is a one-off thing nobody's ever done this before we didn't know what we were working with as far as we were just basing it off center line and and height and stuff so we're going to drive this thing from i say point. six seven maybe even eight inches depending on where we want the drive line to be so the pump is in at a five degrees positive so that's where we're going to want the, the motor to sit so that's what we're aiming for so stay tuned y'all stay tuned catch you on the next episode